everyone, I'm Jen. And I'm Joe. And we're Jen and Joe. On um, the go. My god, we've been on this camera like all day This has today. been a heavy filming day today. So, can we so, keep track of this, Jen? What in the frickin' heck are we doing job. now? I, just do I, social media. I don't even know. I don't even know what we're doing okay, now. Okay, so we're doing the Savor the Savannah tour yeah, at that's right. Animal Kingdom. We that's will right. list the price, how long it is, what it includes. Yada, yada, yada. Somewhere in the description below when we put up this video. Yes. I'm very excited to do it. Earlier yes. today, we did the Caring for Giants tour, which yes. is a tour with the elephants. Um, we've done the Rhino tour. I'm sure this will be phenomenal as well. I'm guessing it will be. I don't know how much we're going to film of the eating and drinking part. We will definitely film the Savannah part because we'll we do film. want we do right. want to enjoy this too. We will enjoy it, but I'll be recording. Don't you worry about your social media. I'm director, filmmaker, editor, cameraman. I'll take care of all that. Don't you worry about that. I got it all covered. So our tour what guide are you, is. Italian or something? Well, not 100% no, anymore, that's obviously. True. Wow, wow. Anyway, Meg is our tour guide. Yes. So it's um, a small group. Meg and I have been getting along famously so far. So um, yeah, well, I'm looking forward to this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I am too. So, so tune in. We have a lot to show. Join us, won't you? So we're heading back towards Rafiki's Planet Watch, and I guess the way this tour is set up, I can record. There's no backstage for it. So. Hey, I'm coming, Jen. I'm coming. So uh, we're going to head back to the truck. So Meg is our main tour guide, but there are a couple of other people who will be uh, working with her. So we have the tour with the animals, and then also, yes, yes, I'm on. I'm, I'm right behind you. So we have uh, a couple of people who will be working with Meg. To take care of us during the tour and dinner. Excellent, you're hired. Let's go, guys. You excited, Jen? Oh, I'm so excited. So our tour vehicle is a little different than the normal regular safari vehicle. Hi, Cameron. Hello, hello, hello. There. Uh, they're, they're, they're eating bushes, bushes, posted, palm fronds. They like to chew on them. Oh, 
chew the palm fronds but not eat them. So far, palm fronds look bad because of the dress. <laughs> um, but I didn't even introduce myself. Uh, my name is Rebecca and I'm a keeper here at Animal Kingdom. I've been a keeper at Disney for 16, 16, yeah, 16 years. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. Wow. I've lost count. Um, yeah, 16 years. I spent 14 of those years at Animal Kingdom Lodge, and now I'm here. I started here right before the pandemic, which was a great, great time to start a new job. Oh, I think someone expected to accept the soft comment. Now I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about myself. I mean, I've spent my career working with what we call hoof stock, so giraffes, zebra, antelopes, ostriches, flamingos, those What's guys. What's your favorite animal? Oh, zebra, easy. <laughs> Why is that? You wasted no time. <laughs> um, so I, uh, Hartman's Mountain Zebra, to be particular, I don't usually mention them because they are not out right now. They went into their overnight housing for the night. Um, but I have been training Hartman's Mountain Zebras for almost six years now. I started at the lodge and then some of my favorites decided, well, they didn't decide, but we needed them to move here and I followed them here. I, I'm just hooked forever okay. now. Yeah. And, and <laughs> I am actually allergic to a lot of the animals you're gonna see out here. Oh, wow. And oh, wow. zebra are not one of them. <laughs> I begged, please let me train something I'm not allergic to so that when I have to touch them, I don't have a reaction. Oh, so oh, wow. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like a, a giraffe touched my leg. It's up, up under my shorts, I'm not gonna show you. But she touched my leg earlier today and now my leg is hurting. <laughs> A little oh. tiny bit. Oh. It's actually gotten a lot high. Yeah. Are those ant hills right there? What are those? Oh, termite these hills. are termite mounds. Uh, so the termites in Africa, some some species are very good at building huge structures like those. Not like eating your house. <laughs> I, I'm sure they're they're still wood eating termites <laughs> in Africa. That's amazing. Yeah, and our animals use them to rub up against. I've actually watched our pregnant. Uh, zebra earlier today, Heidi, like rubbing her belly on it, <laughs> trying to massage herself. Uh, so they, they can stand on top of some of the more rounded ones, like in the middle over there, um, get a good look at things. Huh. Wow. Does the lodge still have zebras? Yes. Animal Kingdom Lodge has two species of zebra. They have Grant's zebra, which are also called common zebras and plains zebras. And then they still have a, a bigger herd of Hartman's Mountain Zebra than what we have here. If you want to see the third species of zebra, Grevy's, uh, that would be on the Gorilla Falls block. So why is that herd in the way or anything? Like, um, for, for the, the night? night. For the oh, night. The, oh, yeah, the night? Yeah. Oh, because... <laughs> <laughs> zebras are way, way too smart and way too mischievous to be trusted to be out here alone. <laughs> yeah. We live in Florida, it gets rainy, the weather isn't always great. It's nice to have somewhere for them to go at night. We know that, okay, I'll go home for the night, I know they are okay. They are in a building. So they're really mischievous, huh? Oh yeah. yeah. Hmm. What do they do? Uh, <laughs> most of the time they just go into areas that they know they're not supposed yeah, to. Yeah, <laughs> they're technically allowed to go, but it gives me you know, a little anxiety for them to get to these places. They'll um, dig holes. Hartman's Mountain Zebras actually, fun fact, they're known as water engineers in the wild. They actually will dig to find water in the wild. Here, they don't need to do that. We do have water sources out here, but it's still part of their behavior, so they will still dig giant holes. <laughs> What are some of the differences between the zebras? Okay, um, so Hartman's Mountain Zebras, when you look at them, their stripes on their bellies don't go all the way around, they don't touch. They also have, I'm sure if you if you guys see them on the safari, you'll hear this, they have a dewlap, an extra flap of skin on their neck. No other species of zebra has that. Hmm. Um, the Grevy zebras are the largest. They have huge like, radar dish ears, huge ears. And the common zebras are smaller, um, and they don't have any, um, they're strictly black and white. They don't have any brown. If you look at the Hartman's Mountain Zebras on their muzzle, it's, they've got a little brown there. Um, oh. yeah. Okay. Uh, faster than me. <laughs> uh, um, no, actually, they can run around 45 miles an hour, I want to say. Yeah. yeah. 
Do you guys want to? I, I will talk about zebras the whole time, <laughs> but we can't see them right now, so I feel like. Are there any questions. tigers or lions out here? There are lions in the safari area, and we do have tigers in Animal Kingdom. Um, the tigers are in the Asia part of the park. The lions are in the next area of the savannah. But they're not out in here? Not out in here, no. Um, if they were out here, <laughs> you wouldn't be. There was a section that they were up on the rocks. They do have a section like that. Yeah. It's just a little farther through your tour. Oh, okay. Yeah. I will say on the Ardani platform, there's an overview of them. Oh, yeah. Really? Yes. I have ever seen. He is trying to figure out if he is going to cross the road. Big horns. Big horn cattle. <laughs> Big horn cattle holding up the traffic. Look, he, he, he's totally like messing with like. Well, it's almost like it's a standoff. I know. I come forward, yeah, because he's too close to the road. He's totally, he's messing with her if he needs to go somewhere else. This is the Aces moment here, it's at 1 foot in there. Well, he had the one, and then he moved this. My husband will tell you that's the same thing. And this looks like he's like, it's where he is. That is so funny. They're just kind of hanging out, just waiting. Let's see who's who's gonna blink. What do you do to get him away? We're gonna see. I want to see. I want to see. Do you need any help? <laughs> I got a volunteer. My wife will help. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm the animal whisperer, as Animals love me. Uh, Rebecca's going to get this dude out of the way. Oh, he's moving a little bit. Oh. Well, she has the food. Uh, and so, honestly, we, when we're doing things like this, um, we, we we give them time, right, to figure out things. Yep. We don't want to go out there and like immediately throw food at them because they're gonna learn very quickly. Like, look at that, yeah, they didn't take much time. He's like, all right, so that's what's up. Oh yeah, now here comes all the cousins. Yeah, I'm gonna get a goodie now. Uh, so for a while. Yeah, they're not heavy. <laughs> oh, did you hear him? Oh, he's coming to say hi. That was not good enough, apparently. Oh. 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 Like I'm here now. I'm gonna eat. Yeah, wait, wait. You got food? What about us? <laughs> oh my goodness. Too little, too late, guys. See you later. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. So they have their barn back behind us there. A lot of the barns that we have are gonna be intentionally hidden from you, right? My favorite one though, the where we saw the the humans and where they normally. Oh, they're not overlooked. Now I was telling uh, Joe over here earlier. Oh, Our 